And with that, we welcome you to the Lent Hall of the campus of Miami University in Oxford, Ohio. Miami men's basketball team at home tonight in home game number two of the year for the Red Hawks. They'll take on the Stetson Hatters in a non-conference matchup on this Wednesday. The Hatters from the Atlantic Sun Conference. Patrick Eschen with you, riding solo tonight. So glad you're with us from the Hall in Oxford this evening. So Stetson comes in one and one on the season. They lost to Georgia Tech on Friday, a 77-52 loss down south. They also played Florida Memorial in their first regular season game on November the 9th at home. That was a 74-67 win for the Hatters who come into this game again, one and one overall on the season. A great start so far for Miami, 2-0 to get things going in this season. 104 to 75 was the score on Saturday for the Red Hawks in their home opener against Lamar. And they also won on the road at Georgia Tech on Tuesday, a win that turned a lot of eyes in the Mid-American Conference basketball community as the Red Hawks pulled it out in a 72-69 bout with the Hornets again back a couple of Tuesdays ago. Of course, the Red Hawks just trying to respond from that last placement in the MAC East last year at 5 and 13 in the conference. And the Red Hawks starting the year off on a very, very good note here from Let Hall. They'll play their third game of the year tonight. Teams are lining up on the floor and we're gonna get to our starting lineups here very quickly. The national anthem was played before we got on the air here tonight. And so we will get to those in the in arena public address momentarily. As the crowd begins to fill in here to Millette Hall, pretty standard Miami basketball crowd. We have people sprinkled around the arena. Probably a few hundred are in the stands for this one tonight. Let's join the public address for our starting lineups this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to Millette Hall for this evening's matchup between the Stetson Hatters and your Miami Red Hawks. And now let's meet tonight's starting lineups, beginning with the visiting Hatters of Stetson. Wearing number zero, Christian Jones. Number two, Ronald Perry. Wearing number 11, Chase Johnston. Number 12, Josh Smith. And wearing number 30, Stefan Swenson. The Hatters assistants are Sean Finney, Jonathan Mitchell, and Adam Williams, and the head coach of Stetson, Lonnie Jones. So there are your starting lineups for tonight's game from the public address for Stetson just to go down. Number zero, Jones. Number two, Perry. Number 11, Johnston. Number 12, Smith. Number 30, Swenson. Part of the starting five for the Hatters. Miami will start with Kyle Larry, Dana Grant, Precious Aya, Delonte Brown, and Maje White. Red Hawks move right to left across your radio here in 
half number one. They are in their home white uniforms, Miami across the front in red. They have the red numbers on the back. Stetson moves left to right. In forest green uniform, Stetson across the front in white with a white number on the front as well. A white number on the back for the Hatters. Red Hawks huddle breaks up near their bench as the fans continue to file in here to Milan Hall for this Wednesday night showdown. Still awaiting to get things going here at Milan Hall and might have a little bit of delay here for TV. I think this game officially slated to begin at 7.02. It's currently 7 o'clock and 50 seconds. So we might have to sit here and wait for that to get going. Of course, just been a wonderful start to the year for Miami. This men's basketball team, a lot of talk around town, especially after their season opening win at Georgia Tech on Tuesday by three points. That opened a lot of eyes because Georgia Tech, of course, obviously a power five team, but also a very good one at that, the defending ACC champions. And then Red Hawks put together a very good performance against Lamar on Saturday here at Millette Hall, the first time they've been in front of their home fans all year, 104 to 75 was the score in that contest. So again, still waiting for TV to give us the signal to get going in our game tonight. They kind of planned all the festivities to end a little, a little earlier than our scheduled start. About a minute earlier. So I think we're probably about 10 seconds away from our tip off here at 7.02 Eastern time. Currently about 7.01, 50 seconds. We will get the okay to go here momentarily. Between Miami and Stetson on the floor tonight. Stetson team last year, there was 12 and 15 overall, seven and nine in the A-Sun Conference. They actually made it to the CBI last year, losing in the second round of that postseason tournament. And they lost in the second round of the A-Sun Tournament to Liberty by 13 points. So a Stetson team that head coach Donnie Jones of the Hatters in his third season has done a tremendous job of rebuilding after they just had a really abysmal program going there in the 2010s. Our opening tip will happen now. The game is on for Millette and Stetson will control. They move left to right across your radio here in our first half. And they win the ball here on the near wing. It's Christian Jones, a 6'5", 195 grad student. Near wing pass to Stefan Swetson. 13 to shoot, they go top of the key. Jones, far away for Perry, the right-handed dribble. Up top of the key for Smith. Near wing now, Swetson, all outside the arc. Far side, Perry, a three ball with five to shoot. No good, and Precious Aya down with a rebound for Miami. A little bit too far left there for Perry on the triple. Redox with the ball to our left. Precious Aya, near wing pass to Mikai Larry. Right handed dribble, top of the key, the pass inside, left elbow with it. Dana Grant trying to find some room to work with against Chase Johnston. Red Hawks return at top of the key, outside the arc. Larry with eight to shoot. Trying to work his way down the left wing, will hit the brakes just inside the arc. Give and go pass with Aya. Two on the shot clock. Larry, a prayer three, left wing is too strong, but the offensive rebound is picked up by Delonte Brown. Red Hawks working near wing, outside the arc, it's Larry. With that fresh shot clock, it's now down to 10 seconds. Larry, the bounce pass to your wing inside the arc is Precious Aya, holds it above his head. Five to shoot, works his way, left side of the paint. Aya spin around off the glass and in for two. Good move there for Aya against the Stetson defender in Rob Perry. 2 0 Miami here, a minute and a half in. Your wing is Swenson here for Stetson. Up top of the key, Johnson, right side drive through the paint, and we get a whistle here for a travel. Ah, uh, the Hatters is with the basketball there. What's Chase Johnson, the sophomore from Boca Raton, Florida. Red Hawks with the ball, they'll take it. Across the timeline here, right wing is Larry with the pass to Danny Grant on the far side. 2-0 Miami. Inside the first two minutes here from Millette tonight. Near wing feed with the ball is my Jay White. Up to the free throw line for Brown. Top of the key with it is Larry. He'll try a right side drive, pull up jumper from the right elbow is in and out. And into the hands of the rebound of the Hatters at Josh Smith. Passes forward, Stefan sweats it over the timeline right wing. Will pass far away for Perry, outside the arc, wide open three, right side Smith. Banked it off the front side of the rim, a little bit short. And the rebound corralled by the Red Hawks, far corner of their own end. Danny Grant over the timeline right wing for Miami. 
Right at the far wing pass, Delonte Brown, three ball, and that's good for Delonte Brown. 20 feet away on the right side, right on the sideline. And it's 5-0 Red Hawks here with 17 and a half to go in the opening period of play. Swenson, left wing dribble, top of the key for Stetson. He's going to get off a little floater shot for the free throw line. That missed too hard. Offensive rebound picked up by Smith. His attempt to shoot it was shut down by Aya. Pass ahead, Makai Leary with a charge. Back to the way, heading over the timeline. Left wing decided to drive it to the hoop. And Larry picks up the offensive foul, knocking over Chase Johnston, number 11, and green for Stetson. So an inbound near side of the court for the Hatters. It'll be Rod Perry to throw it into Stephon Swenson. Near wing pass here for Christian Jones. Johnson picks it up, top of the key. Pass near wing for Josh Smith. Outside the arc is Jones, steps away for a three ball near wing. That is too strong. Only Miami players down near the hoop for the rebound, and Grant scoops it up. 5 0 Miami, 16 50 left in our opening half. Delonte Brown, right side, Miami offensive end, the pass over to Makai Larry. He'll just hold it above his head here, kind of waiting with 15 to shoot. Far wing pass, my Jay White to the corner. Delonte Brown, right wing, holds it with Johnson defending him. Johnson, a quick reach in, and that draws a foul. Against Delonte Brown and the Red Hawks here. Well picked up their first foul against in the game. Stetson with their first. An inbound here on the far side of the floor for Miami at their baseline. Coming into the game for the Red Hawks, Isaiah Coleman lands. I and Larry exit. Looks like Eli McNamara is back in for Miami as well. First appearance for him off the bench tonight. So the far side inbound with 20 to shoot. They find far corner. Coleman lands. We'll take it through the paint. Near wing pass. Wide open three is White, and that's good. The triple for Myjay White puts Miami up 8 to nothing with 16 20 left here in our first half. Stephon sweats it. Pass far side for the Hatters. Rob Perry with it. Outside the arc in the far wing. This is near side for Wiza Panzo, fresh in for the Hatters. Near wing, corner three, Swenson missed it short. And McNamara leaps up for the rebound and springboards a pass ahead for IJ White. Over the line on the right wing. This is back, left elbow, Danny Grant. Soft jumper, McNamara, far side on the baseline, missed from 10 feet away. And the rebound grabbed here by Perry for Stetson. Over the timeline on the left wing comes Perry. This is back, top of the key, with it is Smith, drives on the left side of the paint, and that's good, off the glass for two. Stetson finds the scoreboard with 15 and a half to go in the first half at eight to two. Red Hawks lead it. Miami with the ball here over the timeline, middle of the floor, Coleman lands. Finds McNamara, right elbow, the dish back, top of the key, three, Dana Grant, quick one off, too strong. Rebound coming down with it is Josh Smith here for Stetson. Rob Perry over the timeline, left wing for the Hatters. Takes it through the paint to the right side, drive off the glass and popped in and out of the hoop. And the Red Hawks return down their right wing. Over the timeline on that side is my Jay White. And it hits the brakes, top of the key, the pass far side for Coleman lands. McNamara now holds it in both arms, feeds it for White, left elbow, dish out, three ball, right wing is good for Isaiah Coleman lands. So Isaiah Coleman Lance finds the scoreboard with that triple. Red Hawks are now three for five from outside the arc tonight. 11 to two, Miami on top, 14-38 to go in the opening half. Stetson tries the right wing, driving. Oh, McNamara there with a reach in on the player trying to move in. That was Josh Smith down the right side of the paint. It causes a whistle, I believe. We'll have two free throws coming up for Stetson and we will on the other side of this media timeout. 14.35 to go in our opening half from Oxford, Ohio and Millette Hall. 11-2, Miami on top of Stetson. We're back in a moment. This is Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
14.35 to go in our opening half. 11-2, Miami on top of Stetson. Patrick Etchin back with you here on Red Hawk Radio tonight from Millette Hall on this Wednesday. So glad you're with us for Miami basketball here on Red Hawk Radio, our first broadcast of the year from the Hardwood. And a promising start for Miami, too. Up by nine, free throws though for Stetson out of the timeout. Josh Smith will shoot him off. First one from the charity stripe is good for Smith. Who was fouled by McNamara to take us to that last media timeout. Josh Smith shooting his first free throws of the year was on the Atlantic Sun All-Freshman team last year. Second one is good to make the score 11 to four Miami. Red Hawks get the ball back, Stetson throws in. Oben Gabertis to the game. He's out of Belgium. Makes his first appearance of the night on the floor for the Hatters. Red Hawks to the ball over the timeline, middle of the floor. Dana Grant to Isaiah Coleman lands. Here we feed from Isaiah White. And then back up top, Coleman lands. And his give and go outside the arc. Finally, a three ball is shot short off the hands of White. Rebound corrals near wing and steps in there to grab it. They're over the timeline, left wing, top of the key with the ball is Panzo. Lisa Panzo from Mississauga, Ontario. Sweats it far side, outside the arc, hands it back for Perry. Here we play for Giancarlo Valdez. Back up top is Panzo, far side with it. Perry, Panzo top of the key, eight to shoot. Perry with it now on the far side, walks it into the paint, fires up a shot, no good. The jumper there that was short. And the Red Hawks with the rebound quickly back up the floor. Coleman lands right wing of the basketball, top of the key for Grant. Here we play Delonte Brown. Grant again to the far wing now. They work it outside the arc for Coleman Lance. Dana Grant, top of the key, drives in. Free throw line shot. That's good. The jumper by Dana Grant. And now he is on the scoreboard tonight for Miami with a couple of points. 13 to 4. Red Hawks lead it. 13-20 to go in the opening half. Top of the key, Dremel. Swenson. Near wing pass. Panzo gets off the three. Too far right. And Dana Grant comes down to the four Miami. Stetson shooting currently from the field, one for 10 tonight. It's not been working. Grant free throw line, this is near wing, corner three, Brown a little bit too low. And the rebound picked up here by Gatterest for Stetson. Far away pass, Perry, near wing play for Giancarlo Valdez. Feeds it to the far corner. There's the Hatters working out near wing and a feed from Swenson. Valdez with it to the left side, outside the arc with 13 to shoot is Perry. Left-handed dribble guarded by White, screen set up by Gatteris. They get it near wing though for Valdez. He'll fire off a long range three, too far right. And coming down to it for Miami is Brown. They move it forward quickly, near wing three for Dana Grant is short. And coming down with the basketball here is Rob Perry for Stetson. Perry over the timeline, left wing, works it down the left side of the paint. He is robbed. Good steal there by Brown to strip it free. Pass near wing for Danny Grant. Miami sets up offensive end. IJ White, top of the key, Brown fake the three ball. We get a whistle here for a foul on Stetson. A very blatant reach in there from Rob Perry, number two, the junior out of Orlando. 12 away to go in the first quarter. Stetson picks up their second foul as a team. Red Hawks have two as well. And I think we'll get an inbound here near side for Miami, and we will. This up comes in their offensive end of the floor. Kamari Williams fresh in the game for the Red Hawks. He's going to toss it in. A sophomore from Boston College transferred after last season. Here wing with it is Williams. Top of the key is Coleman Lance, far side pass. Curtis Harrison, the fourth with it. Near side, corner three, getting a feed. Coleman Lance, too strong, and coming in for the rebound was Williams to clean it up, throw it off the glass for two. Here's Valdez with it for Stetson. Over the middle of the floor on the timeline, stands to the big red M at half court. Here we feed to the corner for Jones. Back up top, Valdez. Hands it off, football style, Johnson with it. Near wing feet, outside the arc, Jones tries to drive baseline near side, kicks it out far corner. Got a rest in the paint, and the spin around ball is good for Jones. Down low, got the feed, and off the glass and in for two after he did a 360 under the hoop with the right hand. The shot went in. 15 to six, Miami, 11-11 left in our opening half. Red Hawks with the ball, offensive end. Harrison to the near corner. Thinking about the three, Williams instead drives baseline for the near side. That play broken up by the center down low and Gatteris for Stetson. Here's Valdez for the Hatters. 
They're in the offensive end here with 10.53 to go in the opening half. Top of the key with the basketball. That's Valdez. Gets it in the paint. Gatteres far away. Trying a three. That is in and out. That came off the hands of the Hatters. Number zero at Christian Jones. Here comes Miami back of the way. Left wing three. Coleman lands. Too far right. And the Red Hawks really dry on these three-point field goals as of late. Stetson moves it up the floor. There's a far away three. That's good from Chase Johnston. And it breaks a streak of four missed field goals in a row for Stetson. Johnson up to three points tonight. 15 to nine Miami. Their lead is slowly kind of falling apart here in this first half. Right side elbow jumper. That missed too far left. Kind of an air ball there from Harrison. Stetson back up the floor right wing. Over the timeline comes Valdez. This is back to Panzo. Johnson up top of the key for the Hatters. Far side pass for Valdez. He will take a top of the key, kind of take a breath with 14 to shoot. Now feeds it near way. Panzo a three ball, right on point. And no defense there on Panzo, who makes it a three point game at 15 to 12 Miami with 9.43 to go in the first half. And you get a whistle here as the Red Hawks enter the offensive end of the floor for a timeout. I don't know if there was a foul called or if there was a timeout called by Miami. Yeah, it is a timeout used by the Red Hawks. It'll be their first used of the basketball game and things just not going. Miami's way here as of late. Stetson on a big run. They drill the Red Hawks by three points, 15 to 12. Miami on top, 9.41 to go in our first half. And this is Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Nine forty-one to go. We're opening half here from Millet Hall in Oxford. Patrick Eschen with you from inside Millet Hall tonight. Fifteen to twelve, Miami on top of Stetson here, just past the halfway point of the opening half. And the Red Hawks open up this game with an eleven to two lead at one point, but that's close to fifteen to twelve. Hatters have done a good job going on this run here as of late. It's definitely been a run that doesn't show up on our stats. What the run exactly is? I guess you could do the math real quickly, but it was at best an 11 point lead for Miami in this game that now is at three. So I guess a 9 0 run for Stetson here in the last few minutes. Doing the math right. Red Hawks with the ball on offense here, coming on the timeout, and they pass in near side of the post and finishing off the glass for two is Precious Sai. I got a feed from the right wing and Larry. So a 17 12 Miami lead. 9-16 to go in the opening half. Stetson with the basketball here on the far wing of their offensive end. Valdez cuts middle to the top of the key. Far side feed. Chase Johnston too strong on the left wing three. And Makai Larry picks it up for the Red Hawks. Quickly moving in. Transition down low. A pass to Delonte Brown. And he picks up the foul for the and one as the bucket falls through off the backboard for two. 
And Brown, a great athletic play there. Just charged down the middle, got the right wing feed. And it looks like a foul is whistled for Stetson and trying to confirm exactly who got that call. It is the third team foul against Stetson in the game. Tonight, Christian Jones got the foul as first of the night. So Delonte Brown will finish up three point play here with a main free throw. And the Red Hawks retake a bigger lead at 20 to 12. Nine to go in our first half. Top of the key is Valdez. Works it around far side of the arc. Top of the key. Pass back for Johnston. Here we look here for Panzo. Dribbles it to the free throw line. Far wing pass outside the arc. Valdez holds it above his head. Here's Mohamedou Tayawara. He's from the country of Mali in Africa. He'll get the pass. Left side of the paint. Three to shoot. Brown came in to steal it. And they call a travel on Tayawara. Took an extra step, rounded enough to mess with him there, but not too strong for the foul. And so here come the Red Hawks back the other way. It's Mikhail Larry. Over the timeline, middle of the floor, the near wing feed here for Coleman Lands. Larry, far side pass. Dana Grant to the corner. Brown, a wide open three, gets it. Delonte Brown's closest defender was at least seven feet away, 23 to 12. Red Hawks on top. 8-10 to go in the first half. Here's Valdez down the right side of the paint. A pass hits his teammate Diawar in the chest. They crash for it on the loose ball on the floor. And it looks like Aya came up with it for Miami and then got tied up by Valdez of Stetson. The possession arrow will be consulted here. They call a jump ball. And the Red Hawks own the possession arrow at the moment. So they are going to get the basketball with 8.05 to go in the first half. It'll be an inbound on the near wing for Delonte Brown and the Red Hawks of their own end. A little stretch there of three to four minutes where the Red Hawks were not looking good at all, but they have kind of put it back to where it was right at the start of the game when they had that 11 point lead. Here's a left wing pass and a great athletic move by Precious Sia to get under the hoop and fired off the glass for two. And it's 25 to 12 Miami. Stetson here over the timeline, middle of the floor, Stephon Swetson. Working here with Mikhail Larry. Swenson, in the left-handed dribble, goes top of the key, near wing feed, Johnston, right side, three ball is good for Johnston. And it's 25 to 15, as Stetson improves to three from 11. Outside the arc tonight. Near wing pass, Larry, top of the key, Coleman Lance, Red Hawks working to the offensive end, Dana Grant, cross court feed. Left one grabbed outside the arc by Larry, walks it, free throw line, hits the brakes. This is back outside, top of the key, Coleman Lance dribbles. Has a lane to go down middle of the paint, floats up a shot from three feet away, and that's good. Took a bounce off the rim, popped in the air, and then went through, 27 to 15 Miami. Inside seven minutes left in her opening half. Far side with it is Swenson. Works his way down to the far corner, gets to the baseline, flings up a cross court look, right wing, a three ball, Smith gets it to go for Stetson. And Josh Smith was a couple of steps away from the arc there. Fire that one off, quick ball movement by the Hatters. 27-18 Miami, six and a half to go in the opening half. Near wing to the corner, a quick feed to Brown and he fell back to get the three ball off. And they say two, they say two, so Brown is on the line when he shot it, beg your pardon, 29-18 Miami. Perry up top of the key, Stetson controls, Gatteres. And the offensive end for Johnson, left elbow, dishes left wing outside the arc. Thinking about the three sweats at top of the key, though they go to Smith for a nothing but net three. And with 6.05 to go in the opening half, teams are trading triples here inside Millette, 29 21 Miami. Larry over the timeline, middle of the floor. Far side pass here for Coleman Lance. Back up top, Larry, left hand a dribble through the paint. This is back, Coleman lands, left elbow, top of the key, Dana Coran, trip down there with Swenson, kind of a tie-up, Stetson wins it. Right at half court, and they feed it forward. A wide open layup is good by Rob Perry. Off the glass, it for two with the right arm, the Stetson bench going nuts right now. They've closed the lead at 29-23, Miami. Five and a half to go in the first. Larry, the right hand to dribble, top of the key with 16 to shoot. Left wing pass outside the arc is Dana Grant, right side drive down low. Aya gets fouled, couldn't get the bucket to go, a little bit short off his right hand near the rim. 
But it's going to be a couple of shots coming up for Precious here with 5.18 to go in our first half of the basketball game. Red Hawks on top, 29-23. Ayas shoots a pair from the line when we return. And this is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Five eighteen remains in our first half here from the Wet Hall in Oxford. Patrick Eschen with you on Red Hawk Radio tonight. Thank you so much for spending a part of your Wednesday evening with us. Here on Red Hawk Radio in Miami. Leading the basketball game by three points. 29-23 is your score with 5.18 to go in the opening half. Miami will get the basketball here coming out of the timeout. Free throws will be shot by Precious Aya. So I guess Red Hawks don't really get the ball from an inbound, they get it that way. Okay, crowd at Millette tonight. There's actually a fairly good amount of students who came, but no like student section. It's all everybody in their groups of friends sitting behind where we are on the opposite side of the benches. Having a good time chatting up with their friends, taking in some Wednesday night hoops tonight. Two weeks from tonight, the Red Hawks host Cincinnati and that big time game that's coming to Millette. That's two weeks from tonight. Miami a home game Saturday as well. It'll be their next one taking on Heidelberg. So the first free throw here by Aya is Millette and one time gets quieter than King Library. Well, the Red Hawk player shoots a free throw. First one is good. Second one by Aya. That's good as well. And Precious has put Miami up 31 to 23 with 5.15 to go in the opening half. Precious Aya with six points on the night. Three for three from the field is Aya. Stetson trying to answer and they will really not be able to well here as Swenson comes down the left wing over the timeline and commits a charge. Precious Aya knocked back to his back. The offensive foul is the fifth against Stetson here in the first half to give us another Miami possession here. 31-23, Red Hawks on top. 5.06 to go in our first half. Larry will carry over the timeline, middle of the floor, the right-handed dribble for Miami. Pass to the far side, outside the arc, Precious Aya holds it above his head. This is back here for Larry, near wing play for Dana Grant, wide, open three, too far right, rebound off the rim, corralled by Perry for Stetson, he'll dish back to the point guard and Valdez, who's quarterback in the offense. So Valdez here is stopped right on half court with the right-handed dribble, takes it far side, outside the arc. Back up top, Valdez with a left-handed dribble here. Corrals his way around. Near wing feed for Smith to the baseline. Johnson, a corner three for the right wing. That is short. Quick rebound picked up by Larry. He's down the floor. Hits the brakes free throw line. Top of the key. Three by Delonte Brown is good. Man, this guy's on fire tonight. Delonte Brown, three for four from outside the arc. Now four for five from the field, and he's up to 12 points. First Red Hawk in double fingers tonight. Perry top of the key, he'll fire off a Stetson three that took a bounce in and out. And a foul called here on the rebound attempt on Stetson, a little reach in action by Aubin Gatterest. The freshman forward slash center. 
So a little bit of an official's conference here to discuss what the next move is. I think Miami's just gonna get the inbound from their baseline and they will. Looks like they whistle Josh Smith with a foul. So something away from the play, I guess, he committed. So Smith picks up his first of the night. And the foul department, Stetson now has six fouls as a team, gets Miami in the single bonus. 3.55 to go in the first half. Miami 34, Stetson 23. Here wing with a basketball outside the arc, Dana Grant, right-handed dribble, far corner. With it, here's Coleman Lance on the Mac logo in the paint. This is out, right wing three, Makai Larry. A little bit too soft, rebound picked up by Smith. All alone under the Stetson hoop. And he'll feed it forward, Stetson into the offensive end now is Valdez. Over the timeline here on the left wing. Down the baseline in front of the Red Hawk bench, Valdez, the dish far side, with it is Smith. He trying to work against Brown right in front of that Miami bench, gets it out top of the key, and Valdez will get a foul here, an offensive foul against Stetson. Had to give up the ball as something happened in the paint there. Gattares was called for a violation inside the paint, made too much contact with a Miami player, I guess they say, and so at 3.21 to go in the first half, we have another media timeout. 34-23, Miami leads Stetson, and we're back in a moment to Millette. You're listening to Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Three twenty-one remains in our first half here from Millette Hall in Oxford. Patrick gets you to win you tonight on Red Hawk Radio. 34 to 23, the Miami lead over the Stetson Hatters from the Atlantic Sun Conference. Miami team has put together a pretty good first half in terms of their offensive play. Defensively, they look very strong so far. And they hope to keep that up here as this game continues. 3.15 to go in the first as the Red Hawks take it over the timeline here on the left wing. Delonte Brown with it outside the arc. On that left side, top of the key pass, Precious Sia finds Larry, free throw line. Quick look down low and Aya finishes off. Cutting from the left side, off the glass and in for two. And Valdez here over the timeline, right wing for Stetson. They're back in the offensive end. Dishes back, top of the key for Smith, far side Jones. Hands it off here for Johnston. Near wing pass outside the arc. Valdez baseline drive and it's it for two. Great job there for him. They get that one off and the Red Hawks now with a lead of 36 to 25. Top of the key with it is Day Day Grant for Miami. Inside the arc and back out near wing. A three ball. Coleman lands. That's too far. The Red Hawks for three land tonight, five for 14, so it's been okay, but they're really attempting it a lot here in this first half. Right on half court with a basketball is Valdez for Stetson. Far wing pass for Rob Perry, left wing outside the arc. Perry and air wing feet here for Christian Jones. Now it's Johnson with it. Back up top, this is all outside the three point area. Perry with it, far side of the far corner, three ball off here is too strong. 
by Smith. Both teams really trying to get outside the arc working tonight, and it's just been not the best. Teams are combined 10 for 30 from outside the three point strike tonight. 145 to go in our first half. Miami up by 11. Iowa with the top of the key with 11 to shoot for the Red Hawks. Pass handed off. Danny Grant, right side drive down the paint. He copped it up. Aya came in to try and clean it up. He couldn't get there as well. Stetson with it over the timeline left wing. Quick feed in the corner. Perry walks his way in for the baseline and he will try. Blocking foul. Precious Aya. Late call by the referee. So Aya went down on the play on the Perry drive and Aya's whistled for the blocking foul. Late call there by the referee, seemed a bit indecisive when making it. So with a 129 to go in our first half, Miami up by 11. Couple of free throws at the line here for Rob Perry of Stetson. 6'4", 2'10", Jr. from Orlando. The guards, first one will miss short. As Perry came into tonight, 91% from the line this season. He led the team in scoring each of his first two years on the team, second on the team early in this year, coming into tonight, averaging 13 and a half points per game as Rob Perry will sink the second one to give Stetson the 10 point disadvantage, 36-26 Miami on top, 123 to go here in our first half. Top of the key, Coleman Lance finds Precious Eye, and here we feed outside the arc is Dana Grant, left side dribble for him, watch it near wing, now it's Coleman Lance. Right side at the elbow, watches it back outside the arc, top of the key with 10 to shoot. It is Coleman Lance, trailing left side, got inside the arc, the jumper off, too far left, Aya fights for the rebound under the hoop, picks it up and gets fouled. Fought for body position there against Giancarlo Valdez of Stetson. And Precious Aya will have a pair of free throws coming up. That's the eighth foul against Stetson as a team in this first half, so the Red Hawks are gonna shoot two here. Precious Saya tonight from the free throw line, two for two. First one is good for Precious. Fifth year, redshirt fifth year. Is the way they list Aya. So a redshirt fifth year from Bayelsa State, Nigeria. Manzi units, 6'6", 240. Coleman Lands is taken out here. I think they put in number 22, MyJ White again to the game. As Aya sinks the second free throw with a minute three to go in our first half, Red Hawks on top, 38 to 26. Over the timeline, middle of the floor is Valdez. Far wing pass outside the arc for Chase Johnston. Trails it near wing, feeds it over far side. Valdez down low, baseline off the glass, no good. Or oh, Stetson, that shot was Smith. So 43 seconds on the game clock, 24 on the shot clock for Miami here in the first half. And they lead it by 12. Top of the key, Mikhail Larry is just gonna hold on to it and wait. No pressure from the Stetson defender. It's Chase Johnston. 10 on the shot clock here for Mikhail Larry. Decides to move, gets just off a simple right wing three, and that's too strong. Coming down with a rebound for Stetson, Rob Perry. The shot clock turned off here. So there's 15 on the game clock left in the first half. And Valdez comes away with it here at half court for Stetson. Waiting to set up in the offensive end. Valdez win the basketball with five seconds left in the first half. Top of the key, far side gets a screen. Pass down low, Smith is stood up right in the post by Delonte Brown, no foul. The ball went out of bounds right at the buzzer. And the first half is over with here from the let hall. Great defensive play by Delonte Brown who has stood out on both sides of the floor tonight. There's some frustration here from the Stetson head coach, Donnie Jones, walking off the floor at the half, wanting a foul there against Delonte Brown, but they did not get one. So we've reached halftime here inside Millette in a 38-26 advantage for the Red Hawks from Miami over the Hatters from Stetson. Numbers from those first 20 minutes, Miami out rebounding Stetson 19-16 including four offensive rebounds for the Red Hawks to Stetson's two. Defensively, Miami had 15 rebounds to Stetson's 14 defensive rebounds tonight. Red Hawks lead the assist category nine to seven. Stetson led the turnover count at six to two over Miami. Red Hawks had two blocks to Stetson's none in terms of our points in the paint. Miami had 14 points in the paint to Stetson's eight in that first 20 minutes. And that is where we stand so far 
from Alette Hall in terms of our numbers here after 20 from Oxford. 38-26, the Red Hawk lead at the half. Here from Alette Hall, and we will take our halftime break. It was a really good first half for Miami. All sides of the floor, offensively, defensively, they looked sharp. There was, of course, a few stretches of three or four minutes in that first half where the Red Hawks maybe could have been stronger. You could argue they kind of lapsed it a little bit, fell off, took their foot off the gas pedal, whatever term you want to use. But the important thing is they got the foot right back on the gas pedal, started pushing again, and things were up for Miami during those moments when they regained control of their play in that first 20 minute stretch of our game tonight. So a 12 point lead for Miami going to the locker room at the half, 38-26 is your score. We'll take our halftime break here from Millette. It'll be about 12 or 13 minutes and we'll return with second half action. When we come back, 38-26, Miami the lead at the half. And this is Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
Second half action about to get back and away here inside Millette Hall. Patrick Etchin with you. Glad you're with us tonight on Red Hawk Radio. Thanks for spending a portion of your Wednesday with us. As the Red Hawks back out on the floor here to get going in the second half. 38-26, Red Hawks with a lead at the half. And the Red Hawks move left to right across your radio here in our second half of play. Crowd here in the let mostly sticking around, including the students. Really good students. Kind of coming out tonight to support the Red Hawks, but again, no student section. They're all just kind of sitting in their pods and groups and enjoying the basketball game tonight. They're inside Millette. And what they hope would be a Red Hawks win tonight, it would be a win that would put Miami 3 0 on the year to start it out with a victory this evening. Stetson starts with the ball out of the halftime break to get us going here in the second. Swenson far side as the Hatters move right to left across your radio here in the second half and an alley-oop try is good to Josh Smith from Swenson's arms but they blow the play dead. And Precious Aya picks up his second foul on the play. They say it's an and one. It's kind of Hard to pick up that call there for a little bit. Officials were talking about it, but they say that Smith, when he went up for the alley-oop, was fouled by Aya. I believe he's got one shot here, and he does to finish off the three-point play. The alley-oop was good, so that was the first two of the three-point play. And with the free throw added on, it's 38-29 Miami. Top of the key with the ball for the Red Hawks, and their offensive end on the right is Maijay White. Gives it up for Dana Grant, hits the brakes, right elbow, fires off the jumper, and that is good for two. 40 to 29, 19 and a half to go in the second. And trouble here for Stetson over the timeline right away. They cough it up though, Swetson. Red Hawks back in the way and Brown is fouled. Coming down the right side of the paint, down the wing, trying to go off the glass for points. So that foul whistled here. I believe it'll be just an inbound for Miami. A very quick moving play back the other way after Swetson coughed it up over the timeline right side. I say White knocked it free. And so, it'll be Brown here at the free throw line. They say it's a shooting foul. Initially, it appeared that Brown might be generating that foul for an inbound for Miami, but not the case. First free throw is good by Delonte Brown. 40 seconds into our second half, 41 to 29. Of course, last year, Delonte became one of 35 Red Hot players in program history to make that 1,000 point club. Second free throw good. Red Hawks take the 42-29 lead. It's Swenson over the timeline right wing for Stetson. Hands it off for Perry. Top of the key, Jones. Near wing feed to the near wing is Johnson outside the arc. Far side, Swenson with it here on the right wing. Takes his way down to the left elbow. Johnson now cuts across. He'll float a pass outside. Near wing is Swenson with seven to shoot. Outside the arc. He'll dish it back, Jones through the paint, reaches the glass, and then Brown came out of the middle of nowhere to shut down the attempt. And then Delonte's pass to the near wing is out of the reach of Makai Larry going behind him, it goes out the near sideline. Red Hawks got some trouble there getting out of their own end, and Stetson will get it back in a bad Miami turnover, 18.49 to go in the second half. And then on the near wing is Perry. He will fire this one outside the arc near wing for Smith. Top of the key with it, Swetson for Stetson. Holds the ball to his chest with 12 to shoot. Swetson steps outside the arc, right wing wide, open three is good. First to Swetson 
And the sophomore from Brussels, Belgium, Swenson, is on the scoreboard tonight with three. 18 and a half to go in the second. 42-32, the lead close to 10 for Miami. Far side with it by Jay White, top of the key. Grant a wide open triple, and that's good. Nothing but net for Day Day Grant. And the Red Hawks take a 13 point advantage at 45 to 32. Our side, the pass outside the arc. Christian Jones with it for Stetson. Here we feed for Swenson. Walks his way around the arc from the corner. Far side feed, right wing, another wide open three. Christian Jones, too far left. Picking it off the rim is Dana Grant. Long court, length pass up ahead, and Delonte Brown picks it up. Right side of the post, off the glass for two. Timeouts, Stetson. A 30 second timeout, that'll be immediate timeout as picking it up under his own hoop was Day Day Grant for Miami. He literally flung the basketball all the way down the floor. It was picked up by Delonte Brown in the MAC logo at the paint. And the Red Hawks offensive end near the offensive hoop for Miami. He drove down the right side off the glass for two. Stetson caught off guard. And the media timeout sent us to a break with 17.52 to go in the second. 47-32, Miami on top. And this is Miami basketball right here on Red Hawk Radio. Seventeen fifty-two to go in our second half. 47-32, the Miami lead over Stetson. Patrick Gibson back with the here inside Millette. All the Red Hawks on a 5-0 run in the last 47 seconds. Very good start to the second half for Miami. Stetson has shown promise as well, but the Red Hawks have just been that much better. Stetson moving to our left. Over the timeline right wing is Swenson on the timeout. Stetson sets up. In the offensive end, Josh Smith with the ball. Far side pass to Stefan Swenson. They work it near corner on the wing. Perry outside the arc, right wing pass, and a wide open three is good by Josh Smith. This guy is now three for five outside the arc in the game tonight. Five for 10 for the field. And he leads Stetson with 16 points. Tied for the lead in all scores in the game so far. Left wing three misses here. Too hard by Danny Grant of Miami. Coming down to the rebound, Rob Perry for Stetson over the timeline, middle of the floor. Far side pass here to Stephon Swetson, right wing outside the arc for the Hatters. Works his way across the court, outside the arc, left wing, top of the key pass, open look for three. Johnston sinks it. And Stetson going off from outside the arc in the second half. Team that is now 10 for 20, or sorry, 8 for 20 from outside the arc tonight. Red Hawks try one of their own near wing. That three ball is good by MyJ White. Got a pass cross court for the left wing and Makai Larry. Red Hawks lead it 50 to 38. 16 and a half to go in the second half. Swenson far wing outside the arc for Stetson. Pass far away on the right wing. That was Panzo. They work it near side for Johnston. Left side again outside the arc. White guards him. They find a top of the key. Three ball again and Smith 
buries it. Josh Smith, four for five in his last five three-pointers. 50-41 Miami, 16 to go in the second half. Top of the key, Larry, down the left wing at the paint, and he will get the end one. Reese in there and a drive down the left side of the paint. Stetson there will grab their second foul as a team here in our second half. Trying to figure out who got the call there. A sea of players was down in that paint area. Could have been really any of them that got called for that foul on the reach in. So we'll double check on that. Looks like Stefan Swetson gets the foul for a second of the night. And Larry to the line for a pair of shots here with 16.02 to go in the second half. Sorry, just one shot. Can they give him. 53 to 41 with 16 to go in the second. Perry over the line, left wing for Stetson. He'll hit the brakes, left wing outside the arc, kick it top of the key, Swenson on the basketball. Pass down low, left side of the elbow with it is Josh Smith. Dishes back here for Johnson. Far side, outside the arc in the corner, Perry. Up the right wing, three ball, Johnson is short, off the rim. Here's Danny Grant over the timeline, right wing for Miami. Grant will hit the brakes, top of the key. Walking around the arc on the far side. Grant right elbow down the right side of the paint. Near wing pass to Delonte Brown in three-point territory. He walks it up. The near sideline gets fouled. We'll have immediate timeout here for another foul, I think, on Perry. 15-28 to go in our second half. Red Hawks on top by 12. 53 to 41, your score from the left. We are back in a moment. You're listening to Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Fifteen twenty-eight to go in our second half. 53-41, Miami on top of the Stetson Hatters tonight. At the Len Hall and men's basketball action. Patrick gets you to win you. So glad you're with us. Spending a portion of your Wednesday here on Red Hawk Radio. We thank you for tuning in. Miami's looked pretty good in their second home game of the season here tonight. Up by 12 on the visiting Hatters from the Atlantic Sun. Miami home again on Saturday to play Heidelberg at two. And then hit the road. Or no, they're back home next Tuesday as well, November 23rd, a week from yesterday against Defiance at seven o'clock. Then they hit the road November 27th. That's the Saturday after Thanksgiving at Western Illinois for a three o'clock tip. I mean, with the basketball out of the timeout, far wing offensive end is Dana Grant. He'll go top of the key for Makai Larry. Larry, the left handed dribble, will walk it down the right side of the paint, then dish over left side and high at the post, waiting for the pass wide open. Off the backboard for two, and it's 55 41 Miami. Red Hawks are five for six in their last six field goals. 
Valdez, a pass through traffic, broken up for Stetson, down the wing comes Delonte Brown, he can't finish. He's strong right in the post off the rim, Stetson corrals the rebound back at the floor. Valdez, quick look down low in the post and off the glass and hit for two. Rob Perry with the left hand down low for the Hatters. 55-43 Miami. 14.35 to go here in the second half. Left wing with an outside the arc, Larry. In the paint, Precious Aya will get off a free throw short. Rebound corralled by Danny Grant. The give and go with Aya near side. Maje White to the corner. Brown long range three, too far left. And it's brought in here by Perry for Stetson. Perry pass over the line, right wing is Valdez for the Hatters. Near side for Perry, outside the arc, dribbles his way to the paint, gets off a shot here that goes in for the and one, and they call a foul. Or no, it's an offensive foul against Perry. I didn't see exactly what he did, must have driven in from outside the arc and made contact. And now that I'm seeing a replay, that is the fact the case. So it was very early on in that driver period to commit the offensive foul here for Sweat Stetson. And that will be Perry's third personal of the game. He has three personal. Swenson has three personal as well for the Hatters. No Miami player has three yet. Two is the lead for Precious Aya. 14 to go, second half, 55-43. Miami on top, far away with it for the Red Hawks. Precious Aya goes top of the key, right-handed dribble outside the arc. Maize White gets a feed, curls around in the paint. Mac Logo jumper in the paint is good. Nothing but that for Maize White. And he has eight points tonight. Valdez. Over the timeline, middle of the floor for Stetson. Left-handed dribble around the arc. We'll hit the brakes here on Makai Larry. Valdez, right elbow, the dish back for Smith. Top of the key, long range three, in and out. Smith that time, a rare miss from outside the arc. Precious side down with it for the Red Hawks. Grant the cross-court feed over the line on the left wing is Makai Larry. Outside the arc, gets off a three ball. That's too hard. And showing to the rebound here for the Hatters. Oh, pass it across the court, over the line on the right wing. Came Valdez, give and go in the corner with Johnston. Valdez, top of the keeper, Stetson, dishes down low. Smith, right side of the post, ties up with Aya. They call a jump ball as Presh just got his hands in there very aggressively on Smith. Right near the Red Hawk, Coop, very good play by Precious. The jump ball will give Miami the basketball. They own the possession arrow right now with 13.03 to go in the second half. 57-43 is the Red Hawk lead over the Hatters. So it's Dana Grant with a basketball for Miami over the timeline on the right wing. Passes near side for Dana Grant. He will get his way to the baseline. Spin around shot. Grant too strong there. The rebound tipped around. It goes to the near corner. The Stetson end. Hatters with it. They'll work it up the right wing. Cross court feed. Left wing with it. To the corner. Jones. Three ball. That's good for Christian Jones, the grad student from Columbia, South Carolina. 12.35 to go in the second half, 57-46 Miami. Coleman Lance, top of the key for the Red Hawks. Goes with the left point drive down the paint. Hits the breaks baseline, here we pass. Maj White outside the arc, Mack Logo in the paint. This is back top of the key here for Coleman Lance. Holds on to it with both hands. Up top of the Red Hawks, Coleman Lance. Around the arc, far side, McNamara, the jumper from the arc, that is short. Smith down to the rebound for Stetson, a pass ahead here for Valdez. Valdez hits the brakes, top of the key, Stetson sets up on offense, give and go pass on the right wing was Johnston. Valdez back with it here on the Miami M near half court, 13 to shoot. This is near side, wide open three ball, Jones left alone and he gets it to go. 11.45 to go in a second. This is now a 57-49 Red Hawk lead. By the offensive half of the court. With it are the Red Hawks. Coleman Lance kind of picked up a missed dribble inside the arc in the left wing. They whistle a foul on Stetson for a reach in as Giancarlo Valdez came in to knock it free. And we get a timeout here from Millette with 11.36 to go in our second half. Miami 57, Stetson 49. We're back in a moment to Millette Hall. And this is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
11.36 to go in our second half here from Oxford, Ohio. Patrick Eschett back of the year inside Millette Hall. 57-49, the Red Hawk lead. A little t-shirt toss action during the break. Brought out the CO2 t-shirt cannon firing the shirts off to the students. And behind where we're sitting here tonight. Had fun with that. Miami with the basketball on offense. Out of the timeout. As we are near the middle stages here of our second half. Coleman Lance far wing pass to David Grant outside the arc in the left wing. Gets top of the key, dishes over far side. Coleman Lance baseline drive, kicks it out up top. IJ White right side outside the arc with it here. Coleman Lance far wing pass, David Grant with a shot clock expiring. And he gets off an off balance jumper. Her two, I think they say it is two. 59 49 to score. Miami on top. There is just pure luck there for the jumper by Day Day Grant. Our side with it is Valdez. He'll get off a right wing three. That went off the glass. Too strong. McNamara corrals the rebound. Here we pass here to Baje White. Up top of the key is Day Day Grant. He has nine points tonight. Over on the left side with a basketball now outside the arc. It's to the left elbow. Grant the floater off the rim and in for the bucket. 61 to 49, Miami. Ten and a half to go in our second half. Here's Valdez, right side outside the arc for Stetson, top of the key for Panzo. Back outside, Valdez on the right wing. Ahmed Cateres will set up a screen for a left elbow jumper by Johnson that they wave off before it goes off. We got a foul here coming up on Miami. A lot of contact during that screen that was set up by Stetson on the right wing, right near the arc. And they do call a foul here on Maije White for his first personal. It is the second team foul for Miami here in the second half. Stetson has five as a team. Swenson trails near the left wing, outside the arc, pass to Johnson. Mack logo in the paint, far corner feed. With it here is Jones. He'll get off a jumper from just inside the arc. That's good. And this long range stuff for Stetson has been working well here in the second half. Coleman lands, nearly pass outside the arc. It is McNamara, top of the key with it. Dana Grant gets off a long top of the K3, and that is good. 64-51, Dana Grant is 12 points tonight. 9.40 left in the second half. Our side with it, Swenson, outside the arc, top of the key, that's a jumper that's good. Is it two or three? And they say three was right on the line there as well. A lot of close ones here in these last few minutes. How many points? 64-53, the Red Hawk lead. Miami with the ball on offense. Far away, Grant escapes from the defender. Charge to the left elbow. Dishes out. Far away, three is good for Maje White. Terre Haute, Indiana native puts Miami up 67 to 53. Top of the key, Swenson, far side, wide open three, look there for Jones. Instead, he dribbles into the free throw line and gets off another open jumper. And up by 12 is Miami at 67 to 55, down to 8.47 to go in the second half. Coleman lands over the half court line, middle of the floor, near way feet for IJ White. Far away for Coleman lands, holds it above his head. Trails over the far wing. Now White near side with it. Guns it down low. The pass corralled by Luca Eller off the bench, and he's fouled right in the post. Got a rest had it there for Stetson. As he made contact with Eller, one against three was Eller down in the post, and Stetson still commits a foul. 8.31 to go in the second. Luca Eller from Mentor, Ohio, suburban Cleveland, two in the line for Miami. He has two, and the first one good for Luca Eller. Second appearance of the year for Luca. He did not score any points against Lamar last Saturday. He was in that game for six minutes. Had five appearances last year as a freshman for Miami. Delonte Brown at the scorer's table waiting to check in following the second free throw at the trip for Eller. And it's good. 69-55, the Red Hawk lead, 8.31 to go in the second half. Eller will head to the bench to re be replaced by Delonte Brown, and Stetson works the ball at the floor here 
on the right wing over the timeline. Swenson with it. Left handed dribble here outside the arc. Corrals his way to the top of the key. Far side, wide open look for three. Perry will drill it from in front of the Stetson bench. And Rob Perry now with eight points in the night for the Hatters. 69 58. Miami lead down to eight to go in the second half. Coleman Lance, top of the key for Dana Grant. Far side, Coleman Lance, another give and go. Down low to White, right elbow jumper. That misses short. Rebound corralled here by Perry. And he's up ahead over the timeline on the right wing for Stetson. Perry, the dish far wing with the basketball. Panzo. Give it over here for Stefan Swenson. Left handed dribble, top of the key. Pats far side with it outside the arc is Panzo. Up top, Swenson, guns it near corner with 10 to shoot. Jones works on White, gets off a jumper, too strong. Rebound is tipped around in the post. Red Hawks end up with it. Coleman lands over the timeline right wing. Into the Miami offensive end. Left wing pass here for Dana Grant. This is to the left elbow from IJ White. Works it outside the arc. Top of the key is White with 16 to shoot. White down the right side of the paint, and he's rejected. Quick block there, and a mid-air came. Number 12 in green, Josh Smith for Stetson. Knocks it out of bounds. Red Hawks will get the basketball when we come back. No, no foul called on the play. Another media timeout. 7-19 to go in our second half. Miami up by 11 at 69-58 over Stetson. This is Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Seven nineteen to go in our second half here from Oxford, Ohio. 69-58, the Miami lead over Stetson. And the Red Hawks here will head to the floor with the Hatters joining them. It's been a really good game for Miami en route to a 3-0 start, but still just an 11-point lead. 7-19 to go in the second half. Lots can happen. We have seen that before on this very floor, too. To the inbound from Miami, their offensive end near side of the baseline. Dana Grant will fire it in. McNamara left wing at the paint. Spin around off the glass. Too strong. And Smith is down with a rebound for Stetson. Here's Swenson over the timeline on the right wing for the Hatters. 7.05 to go. Second half. Jones top of the key for Stetson. Near wing bullet pass. Perry left side three. That is no good. Short. And the rebound tipped off. A couple of hands out of bounds. They say Smith was the last to touch it for Stetson with his left hand right on the baseline. Goes out off him and Miami gets the basketball back here. They will take it to their offensive end of the floor. With 6.50 left in the second half. Miami up by 11. 
Near wing outside the arc, Coleman lands, finds Dana Grant. On the right side, outside the arc, he flails up, kind of a prayer jumper there with defenders all over, and that misses short. And up ahead, Stetson up the left wing. Perry for Jones, top of the key, they work it around the arc to the far corner. With it there was Panzo. Now back up top is Swenson here for Stetson. Swenson, the wing pass for Rob Perry. He'll work it back top of the key with 12 to shoot. Near wing feed for Jones, back up top. Perry with eight to shoot, drive down the right side of the paint, and it's in for two. He beat down Delonte Brown, put it off the glass for a pair. And then MyJ White will return the ball up and back the other way for Miami. 69 60, Red Hawks on top. Brown top of the key, quick pass down low. McLogan in the paint. It was Dana Grant who tried to feed it post for McNamara. That got broken up by Swenson. He has the ball back the other way for Stetson over the timeline on the right wing. Right handed dribble here for Swenson. 18 to shoot, 5.45 to go in the second. Swenson, a left handed dribble. Gets down the right side of the paint. Dishes back. Smith, the three ball, too strong, top of the key. Brown down to the rebound for Miami. And hands it up for Makai Larry to take it over the timeline. Larry over the middle of the floor. 5.30 left in the second half. Miami, the 69 60 lead over Stetson. Far side with it, outside the arc. That's Coleman lands on the left wing. This is near side for Danny Grant. Far wing, Mikhail Larry with the basketball. Near wing, Coleman lands. Right side, three, too far left. Smith got the rebound off the glass. And we get a whistle here for a foul. I don't go against McNamara. I guess he made contact with Smith before he went in for the rebound. Let's see if we get a look here at the replay. Yeah, McNamara reaching on Smith when that ball popped off the backboard and deflected over to him. And a little bit of a stoppage here before this Stetson inbound. Delonte Brown was appearing to be shaken up. He was, yeah, he's limping off the floor. Not Something's not right with Delonte Brown. So the referee noticed that, stopped the play before the Stetson inbound. And Delonte Brown will head off here limping on his right leg. Keep an eye on that. They will send Kamari Williams in to take his place. 5.04 to go, second half. Red Hawks by nine. Top of the key with it, Stetson. It's Rob Perry. Trails his way over to the right wing outside the arc. Flails off a three. Perry short. Rebound tipped in the hands of Dane Grant. Try to pass. That went off a foot. And Larry back to pick it up on the baseline barely before it went out. And he's over the timeline left wing. Red Hawks set up on offense. Larry will just hold here, top of the key with 16 to shoot. Near wing pass, Coleman lands. Finds Danny Grant, near wing outside the arc. Back up top, Coleman lands, down through the paint. Left side, post pass to Precious side of the up and under move. And he finds the twine. 71-60 Miami, 4.25 to go in the second half. Stetson over the timeline, left wing. Sweats and with it. Steps into the left elbow, then back outside the arc. Hits a pass to Cataras here, near wing outside. The line, Swetson now up top for Panzo, top of the key. Far away pass for Christian Jones. Left handed drill for him to the left elbow. He got a whistle here for a foul on Miami. I think they got Larry. Never mind, it was Dana Grant. For his first, the team's fourth here of our second half. And we will get. A Stetson inbound here from the baseline near side of their offensive end with 20 to shoot. It's Swenson to toss it in near wing. Outside the arc was Johnston. Up top for Jones, then back to Swenson. Up top here for the Hatters. Swenson top of the key with a pass to Panzo. His three too far right and down to the rebound. Wide open under the hoop was Precious Aya. Far side with it over the timeline. Here is Makai Leary. Inside four to go in the second half. Near wing feed for Coleman Lance. Larry with it now. Left elbow, Danny Grant has plenty of room to work with in the paint. Drove to the hoop off the glass with the right arm too strong. And the flex out of bounds off Miami out the baseline. We get a timeout after that with 3.34 to go in the second. Miami 71, Stetson 60. An 11 point advantage for the Red Hawks. They try to close it out when we come back. And this is Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
334 to go in our second half. Miami 71 to Stetson 60 here at Millette Hall in Oxford. Patrick Eschen with you tonight. Inside of a very happy Millette Hall this evening to see their Red Hawks put together a performance like this on the floor. They just need to close it out in this last three and a half minutes or so of the game. So Miami gets the basketball here out of the timeout. Far side of the baseline. Coleman Lance will dump it inbounds for Miami. They go top of the key from Akai Larry. Dana Grant near wing outside the arc with 13 to shoot. Larry top of the key, right side drive down the paint, tossed it up high on Aya, went over his head, and then out of bounds off a Stetson player. That's a lucky bounce for Miami. It pops out and goes back to the Red Hawks with 10 to shoot, 3.23 to go in our second half. And on the far side of the baseline, the Stetson baseline, it's inbounded by Grant. Top of the key, Coleman Lance, far wing Larry to the corner. Grant, far side, three, that's too far right. And the rebound picked up here by Smith. On the timeline right wing comes Swenson, 3.10 to go in the second half. Swenson with it, top of the key, the left-handed dribble, far side feed for Perry. Right-handed dribble for him, and Swenson up top. Down low to Smith, down to the post, and he picks up the and one. Passed it from the right wing with Swenson. He got it down low to Smith, who finished off on Precious Eye right in the bucket. Three-point play try here for Smith. Three to go even in the second half. Miami 71 and Stetson 62. With the free throw line here is Smith. Trying to finish you off the three-point play with the Millette Hall noise. Gets it to go. And this will be an inbound for the baseline for Miami. Precious Aya. Well, inbound here to Makai Larry. Here we pass Dana Grant. Inside three to go here in the second half. Red Hawks lead it now 71 to 63. Larry with it far side. Up top of the key here is Isaiah Coleman Lance. Far wing for Larry outside the arc. Far away, he will hit the deck at the left elbow. It's Stetson the steal away. They're up the floor, left wing is Perry. He will get it to the left side, outside the arc. This should near wing now for Swenson. Back to Perry, left side for Stetson. Through the paint, he lost it. It jumped off his hand. Larry back the other way for Miami, coast to coast. And he's fouled under the bucket. The offensive bucket for Miami. Larry, a hard charge over the timeline down the floor. Picks up and a foul there. Swenson gets it. Swenson on Stetson. I know it's been kind of a tongue twister all night for those of you that have been with us. It's Swenson's fourth personal foul. And Larry at the line here with the free throw after the seventh team foul against Stetson on the night. The first of two for Larry is in and out, no good. IJ White will reappear in the game for the Red Hawks. He will replace number one in Kamari Williams, the sophomore. Swenson taken out for Stetson after that was his fourth personal foul, like we mentioned. So I think Chase Johnson returns in his spot for the Hatters. And the second one is good by Larry to make Miami's lead 72 to 63. 220 left here in the second half. Stetson with the ball near wing. Here's Valdez. Outside the arc, near wing pass. Johnson, three ball too hard and jumping up for it there to get the rebound to Kai Larry. Right handed dribble. He'll take it over the timeline here on the left wing. Near wing feed for Coleman Lance. Returns back for Larry up top for Miami. Inside two to go in our second half. Red Hawks have 13 to shoot. They're up by nine. Dana Grant. Near wing feed for Coleman Lance up top for Grant. Top of the key, left-handed dribble, gets himself down the right edge of the paint. We get a whistle here for a foul on Stetson. Giancarlo Valdez picks it up. Number five in green and for Valdez. That is his third personal of the night. One and one free throws upcoming with 146 to go in the second half for Day Day Grant. First of two is good. I guess I should say first of maybe two for Grant. 146 to go again in the second half. Red Hawks lead up by 10. Another one coming here for Day Day. Drops it through. Now an 11 point lead for Miami with a buck 45 to go in the game. 
Mirrorwing with it is Valdez over the timeline, right side for Stetson, right-handed dribble. Reaches his way over to the near wing with Larry blocking him out. Our side pass holding above his head is Perry outside the arc. This is down low, far corner, three ball, Smith too strong. Larry tips the rebound out near half court. And Coleman Lance comes away with it for Miami. Stetson trying to reach in for a foul. They pass it far side, Larry through the paint. Mac logo, that's where he's contacted by Smith. The foul whistle there. Red Hawks will have some free throws coming up. One and one with a buck 18 to go in the second half. And it's the ninth foul against Stetson as a team here in the second half. So one and one free throws for Miami for this foul. And the next foul Stetson commits will go to two more shots for the Red Hawks. Two shots for every Stetson foul, I should say. So the one and one is up here for Larry. Sinks it right through. Kyle Larry now has seven points in the night tonight. Four rebounds for Miami. He leads the team in assists with five steals with three. Second free throw is good. 76-63 Miami. 116 to go in the second half. Valdez over the timeline left wing, but before that, a timeout called by Stetson, and they're gonna have one more left after this one. 30-second timeout whistled by their head coach, Donnie Jones, in his third season with the team. Jones, a former assistant at the University of Florida with the Gators, and came into the Stetson team. We kind of talked about it a little bit earlier, but came in and just has turned this program around. They keep trending upward ever since he came in three years ago. He that was just abysmal in the 2010s. Rarely put together any winning season since the turn of the millennium, but Jones has put this team somewhat back in the map of the A-Sun. They did finish seventh in the league last year, but a lot of promise for this Hatters team this season. And Jones a big part of it, turning this program around. 1.15 to go in the second half in our game tonight. Miami 76, that's in 63. Red Hawks looking for the win tonight to jump to a 3-0 start. Near wing Perry will have it here for Stetson. Toss it into the Miami M at half court. Valdez around the arc. Near side of the elbow, the pass for Johnson. Up top, Valdez launches a three ball in and out. It's tipped around in the post. Finally knocked out back to half court. Fresh shot clock at 20 seconds. Near corner, Stetson with the ball. Perry at three. That's tipped around in the paint. No good, too strong. Miami ends up with it. Dana Grant far side for the Red Hawks with 26 to shoot. And he is fouled, and the crowd jumps to their feet here inside the Let Hall. Forty-eight point four seconds left in the second half. Red Hawks gonna have two shots at the line here, and it's Danny Grant to take him. Miami up by thirteen points at seventy-six to sixty-three. This one good by Danny Grant. Kind of the start of the show these last few minutes. Day Day Grant for Miami. And leads the team in points. After that free throw is 17 and the next one is good. Taking it with 18 on the night. Miami 78, Stetson 63. Over the timeline right wing is Valdez for the Hatters. Passes to Smith, trailing down the middle of the paint. He is fouled, getting two in the bucket. Really no chance for a shot there for Smith. The contact came in for Miami by Precious Aya. With 39.7 left here in the second half. To the line for repair is Josh Smith for Stetson. From nearby Monrovia, Indiana. Making his first appearance of the year tonight. And Smith, who got the start tonight, will make the first free throw. You have a decent amount of players on the Stetson team from overseas in Africa and Europe. You have some from Florida, but there's kind of a lot of Midwest kids as well. Indiana, Ohio mixed well for the Stetson Hatters. Smith will make the second free throw and the score moves to 78 to 65 Miami, 39.7 to go in the second half. Dana Grant here with the ball, the right-handed dribble will dish up to the half-court line for Coleman Lance. Right-handed dribble for him, far side Larry. 
And both arms for Miami. Larry gets it to the center area of the court. 16 to shoot, 25 on the game clock. White down low for Ryan. The up and under move on Smith. Gets it in for two off the glass. Play of the game for Precious Aya. The shot clock is off. 15 to go. Right wing three. Too strong by Perry of Steps. Picks up his own rebound in the paint. Knocked three by Mize White. And during his route down the court, he is fouled. Listen to this crowd of Millette. Beg your pardon, he wasn't fouled. I thought he was. Everybody stopped playing, but I guess it's just to run the clock off. Beg your pardon, the game is over. And Miami wins it by 15 over the Stetson Hatters. 8 to 65, your final tonight from Millette. And the Red Hawks jump to 3 0 on the season. Quite a start it's been for Miami with. Winnable games upcoming on the schedule. Saturday, the next home game for the Red Hawks against Heidelberg at two. And November the 23rd, the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, they will host Defiance here in Millette at seven o'clock that night. And then hit the road November 27th in Western Illinois for a three o'clock start over there. Stetson now falls to one and two overall on the season. And the Hatters head to Beaumont, Texas. Very quick turnaround for Stetson for a Friday night matchup at eight o'clock Eastern time with Lamar. That was Miami's last opponent. Again, that game will be in Beaumont, Texas, eight o'clock Eastern time on Friday night for the Hatters of Stetson, who again fall to one and two on the season following their loss to Miami here inside Millette Hall tonight. So the Red Hawks again, three and zero on the season. They started off with three straight wins. What a start it has been for Miami on the hardwood and the men's hardwood this season. And the Red Hawks again playing Saturday at home against Heidelberg. That's a two o'clock tip here from Ouellet Hall. Leading score for Miami tonight. And there was two of them tied with 18 points. Dana and Grant, Precious Saya, and then for Stetson, 24 points from Josh Smith. Made a huge return to the lineup tonight with 24 to lead all scorers in this game for the Hatters. And they are the ones that end up actually losing it despite Smith's effort by a final of 80 to 65. Red Hawks win the win tonight. For everyone working behind the scenes, Patrick Eschett saying so long good night from Ouellette Hall in Oxford this evening. Red Hawks 3-0 to start the year off. And we thank you so much for listening to this presentation of Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Until next time, have a great night, everybody. And thanks again for tuning in.